Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Jesse in the Garden. Today what I'm going to show you how to do is make your own earth box. Uh, it's a very popular way of gardening now and um, it's real easy to do. I'm going to show you some new ways to do it, um, I hope, <laughs> and uh, we'll get started right now. Okay, so here's the tools you're going to need to do this. Uh, we need a pair of scissors, a razor edge, and some duct tape, as well as some weed shield, an old section of hose, and two boxes. As you can see here, I got two. One that fits inside of the other that you can get. They're just storage containers. You can get these anywhere. Hardware store, Walmart, you name it. They have them. Uh, you're going to need two of those and I'll show you what to do with them right now. Okay, the first thing I've done here, as you can see, is uh, taped up the sides of the container with duct tape. The reason for this is that I'm using a clear bin and um, it's best if you just keep it all nice and dark in there so the roots don't get confused. Um, not only that, it, it allows um, condensation to happen at, a, happen at a slower rate so you don't burn up all your water right away that you have in the bottom here. Um, very simple to do with the duct tape. You could get paint or I know some of you ladies like the really fancy and cute duct tape that everybody's using to make wallets and whatever else. You can use that as well. Anything that will cover up the sides will work. And now we'll go on to the next step. Okay, one of the things you can see that I've done here is I've left myself a sort of a, a rain gauge in this um, bucket here so that I can see the level at which my water is inside. Um, so I just kind of left a slot in the duct tape and that should work for helping uh, figure out exactly where the water is inside and when I need to add water. So as you can see, all you have to really do here is you're going to slip this right inside. Okay, you have a piece that now sits flush. We're going to take the lid off of this and you can see that this piece here sits up pretty high off of that. So your soil is going to be inside this upper bin. However, you're going to need a wicking system to get the water from the bottom up to the top. I've come up with a, a way that I think is kind of unique to these systems. I haven't seen it before and I'm going to show you exactly how to do that and we'll get to that right now. Alright, what I've done here is I've taken an old piece of t-shirt and I've, I've stripped it out into pieces and then I've taken a piece of this hose here and I ran the t-shirt up through the hose. Now what I'm going to do with this is this is going to be my wicking, okay? This is going to sit down in the water like such down here in my bucket. And it's going to draw that water up into the top through this here t-shirt. Now in between the reason I have this hose is because I'm going to cut holes in the bottom of my secondary bin and I'm going to trace this piece of hose in the bottom of it on each one that I'm going to cut a hole in and stick that hose down in there so that it'll actually stay in place when I put my soil in. And as we put the soil in, we'll have these held up so that the actual so this will go all the way through the soil and it should release the water all the way up into there. So that's what we're going to work on next is putting these pieces into the bottom here of our our tubs. Okay, as you can see, I've drilled holes and I've put all of the pieces of t-shirt, this is uh, just a cotton t-shirt, through all the holes. I've also attached uh, 
my piece of hose that I'm going to be using here as my water tube and it goes down into, I just put a couple of flower pots old uh, black potting pots in here just to support the weight of the soil a little bit extra and then as you can see here when I lift this up give me one second you can see that all those wicks will hang down into the water and that's what's going to cause all the water to be drawn up into the soil and that's uh, pretty much simply it now we're just going to fill her up with soil and make sure that these wicks that the soil gets underneath I've also drilled a quite a few additional holes in here for drainage as well as um, condensation coming into the soil and um, I'm going to fill it with soil and then we're going to get to planting. Alright, as you can tell, I uh, put, started putting my soil in. Here I have the shirt over the top of it, making sure that I've put the soil down a couple of inches underneath this and that this runs up in between my soil layer in the middle somewhere so that it keeps all the soil moist. Um, so that's what I've done with those. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover it up with the last layer of soil and I'll go ahead and get to planting something in it. Okay, you're going to want to drill a hole right about here so that your overflow of water uh, will come out. If it rains or something, you want that water to be able to come out. Okay, folks, so this is the finished product here. As you can see, I got my my hose here for filling it up. That's where we fill it from. The top is all covered up with uh, with duct tape here. I've cut a hole out of the lid, as you can see, for the crops to come out. Doesn't matter what crop you put in there. Pretty much anything will grow in it. Just make sure you keep it filled up with water and the moisture will do the rest. This is a great, great thing for a small backyard or uh, if you only have a porch in an apartment. A uh, good way to grow your own vegetables in this box here. Thanks for watching and happy gardening.